Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so if you've been following me, or 41 of you, or however many of you are, I haven't uploaded in about a year. Um, a lot has happened. If you've watched my last vlog, I would have been in Melbourne. Um, I'm since no longer there. I've decided to move back home to Townsville. Um, that was in April of last year. And that's when I started filming videos. Um, I was just not in the right state of mind to film a video. I literally have footage of me trying to explain what happened in Melbourne. But I don't even want to go there now. Like, it just didn't work out for me. You know, I went on a three-week holiday before I moved and decided, yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. And once I just got into, like, the normality of things and, you know, settling in, actually working there, I was living on the western suburbs and working in South Melbourne and that is like the biggest commute like it's like maybe if you're lucky 45 minutes and then like add an extra 15 minutes for parking but I just wanted to like hop on here and have like a brand new fresh start um I'm obviously in a much better mind um mindset now and I just wanted to sort of explain where I'm at now and what happened. Obviously, I love making video video. Uh. <laughs> Obviously, I love making videos for you guys. And excuse me while I go tame my dog. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. So, um. Where was I? So yeah, so obviously Melbourne didn't work out for me, um, which is okay. Like, I'm okay with that. Like, But I'm really glad that I did try because I think if I w didn't try, I'd still sort of be sitting here going, I wonder. Because for so long, like literally five years, I wanted to move to Melbourne and be like, big city gal, you know. And then I even like decided, you know, I was going to look for a place in the city, but like, it was like $350 a week for some, you know, little tiny box of an apartment, which would have been fine for me, but like, I just couldn't comprehend spending $350 a week of my paycheck on somewhere where I wasn't happy, and it took so much strength to like, move back, because I was so stubborn in like moving and you know being independent when I realized that I was quite independent here anyway like I was living on my own I was you know cooking every night for myself or let's be real getting takeout most nights and just pretending I cooked it um, like sushi sushi is life um, so yeah, I just basically wanted to give you a quick life update on where I have been and sort of what to expect from me in the ongoing future. Now, now I know in my very first video I was like, you can, you can have two videos a week, but it is so hard when I'm working two jobs and I'll get to that in a minute as to why I'm working two jobs and also living back home. Also, I'll get to that. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is just sort of stick to maybe once a week and see how I go from there. Like I've sat down and listed out all the videos I've got. So I think I've listed about 21 video ideas that I want to do. So that gives me 21 weeks to sort of build up my channel and get you guys to hopefully follow me because I hope I'm interesting enough to follow. Um, I just want to be real with you guys as well. Like, you know, I'm literally sitting here in my bedroom, no fancy backdrop, in front of a window with my lighting. You're currently sitting on top of a lamp and then my phone, so you're flat. Um, so until I know that I'm going to stick to this because it's really what I love, but I just have had no motivation lately. But, you know, I just 
am really wanting to get doing this and like I love YouTube like I literally sit there for hours and watch YouTube like I watch more YouTube than I watch Netflix um so you know I just want to make videos for you guys that are real but also like you know that keep you interested as well um I'm going, I'm about to film another video because all my stuff just arrived from Loving Earth and Vanity Planet and Skin Mart, which is where I bought some skincare that the lovely Sarah's Day recommended in her skin routine. My skin is just hormonal. Like, every morning I just wake up with a fresh breakout and it's just great. Kidding. So, um, I'm so excited to film that for you guys, um, just to show you, like I haven't been using it for that long, but my skin feels so much better than using like a wipe or like, you know, a micellar water, like, yes, I still use them when I get home late and I just want to take off my makeup quickly, but this skincare is just like a whole nother level and it's like the simplest routine. Um, I'm going to add an oil to it because I feel like my skin's a little bit dry. Um, but I don't want to add too much oil because I still get a little bit oily in my skin. Um, this video is going from like life update to like me being excited about this skincare. So stay tuned for the next video. Um... The reason that I've moved back home is because, as most of you would have seen, my um, apartment got flooded, as most of you would have seen. No. As, as most of you would know, um, Townsville was recently hit by some devastating floods and unfortunately my family's unit that I was living in got really badly affected so I had to move back home to the island with my parents which is like the greatest thing ever because one I'm saving money but two I get to spend the time that I really need with my family as well um, and also I'm working for my family's cafe which has the best gelato I'm not biased at all and um, so I get to work there with them, which is like, okay, sometimes it's a little bit unbearable, but you know, you get through it, your family, like at the end of the day, you love each other, you know, and then my second job, um, is working for a sign writing company. I'm currently doing that two days a week in town. Um, and I'm doing inside sales. I run all their social media, which is sort of like half my dream job. Um, like I definitely don't want to be in sales for the rest of my life. But doing the social media and being creative is what I love to do. Um, hence why I'm doing the whole YouTube thing. Um, and it's not because, you know, I want to do it as a career. Like I'd love to do YouTube as a full-time career, you know. It is hard work, but at the end of the day, it's something that I really would love to do. Um, but at the moment, I'm just sort of doing it to get myself out there and show you guys my life and what I'm all about. Because, you know, I can talk a person's ear off as I'm saying that. I'm like 13 minutes in recording. Um, obviously, I'll edit this down because I've had a lot of ums and likes and blah, 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 blah. Um, so, yeah. So, basically, where... I to recap, where I'm at is I'm currently living back at my parents because my unit got flooded. God knows how long that's going to take um, to fix. And I'm working two jobs while trying to fit my love of YouTube in this whole, you know, mess what is what my life is, you know. Um, but I love to stay positive, I love working out, um, I've been following Sarah Day's at home workouts and also been doing LPPT as well which is a Townsville based boot camp which I'm really really passionate about 
Um, the girls are also amazing. So if you are in Townsville and you do want that boot camp and it's all about girl power and, you know, working out and, you know, doing all those things you enjoy but being around people who push you up and, like, keep you up. Like, I know for a fact if I wasn't at a workout by Tuesday night, my trainer would ring me or message me and be like, yo, girl, where you at? Like, you need to get to class if you want to stay on track. And that is, like, the most motivational thing a trainer can do. Like, and if I, if I was sick or if there was something happening, I would just message her and tell her, like, I'd be comfortable in telling her that. But... You know, and then, but she'd be okay with that. She'd make sure I was okay. Like during the floods, when, um, you know, I wasn't coming to training, the first thing I did was message her and be like, this is what's going on. I'm not going to be at training for ages. How can, how can I keep training with you guys? And, you know, she's put me on a nutrition plan. She's sending me weekly workouts now. So instead of, you know, paying money for something that, you know, I can't get to because I'm on the island and not in town anymore. I'm paying money still, but getting what I want. So getting the online workouts and, you know, doing them in the comfort of my own home or, you know, doing them in my backyard. Or sometimes I go down to the beach because I literally live 50 meters from the beach, which is really cool. Um, so, yeah. So I think this has been like an all over video so I'm sorry about that because I'm really still a little bit awkward in front of the camera um, because you know it's been a year but I definitely know that my next video will be better and like I'll have a subject to talk about because I will be talking to you about Loving Earth products and all the skincare that I got I was so excited because two packages arrived and I was really confused so I was like, what's going on? Because um, Vanity Planet, who delivered my um, face brush, was like, oh, because you want pink, it's not going to be in the country till like the 22nd of April. But then I got it today, so I was so excited. Um, so stay tuned for the next video. Subscribe and like down below and comment what you guys would like to see from me. As you can see, I'm a bit all over the place still, but I definitely will get better at that. Um, anyway, see you next time guys. Bye!